So dealing with physics is a million dollar question. We are not super 30 film kids. So that we'll uh, get the answer in a natural way. We just apply the formula to get the answer. And sometimes even one and a half pages work out and the answer will not be given in the option. So we think, okay, it's time to quit. This will be happening in every neat aspirant life. And uh, another pathetic is our physicist friend who relate every concept in every lesson and tell the answer. And we are like, oh, ho, namalukudha unu terle yo. Avdine yo sikkara situationum. Everybody's, every neat aspirant life la nadandarukku. Gauroma physics mark vangna poodhu. Avdine nanikira ongulukku. This is a must watch video for them. So, I'll give a bonus point at the end of this video. So, don't skip it and watch till the end. So, welcome to my channel, Inspiring Brains. This is Hari, completed physiotherapy, currently doing medicine and a part-time biology faculty. In this video, I'll be sharing four important strategies by which you can maximize your marks in physics. This is based on scientific tips and all our toppers uh, views, right? So, strategy number one, one paper technique. So take one paper and you have to study any unit. For example, current electricity. So make all the important formulas and important points in the single page of that paper. Leave the other page of the same paper blank. This is the first important strategy. You should only mark the important formula and important points. It can be from the NCRT or it can be from the formula list. That's the first strategy. For example, I done for current electricity. So voltage division rule, current division rule, I should remember. So KCL is law of conservation of charges. And I is equal to Naivid, which I usually remember this formula. And semiconductors, conductors rule. And for internal resistance, which I usually forget, that is during charging and discharging. Then cells in series with internal resistance and cells in parallel with internal resistance. These formulas which I usually forget and the important points I covered in a single page of a paper. So this is strategy number one. So strategy number two, problem solving. So get some MTG book or any book in which having a topic wise and year wise question. There will be so many questions. But set, just segregate for the neat AIMS and JE main question. That's enough. So at least you have to solve 150 question for a unit. So that's strategy number two. At least solve 150 questions in a single unit on a topic wise priority. For example, I took current electricity, which is having some 300 problems. So I just segregated 150 problems based on repetition on APMT, AIMS, JIPMER. Out of which, at certain points, I rounded some problems. Right. So yeah, I rounded. So these problems are difficult for me when I am doing the problems. So I just mocked all the things. So this is strategy 2. So just problem solving. So strategy number 3, marking and remarking. So, by following strategy 2, we will be solving many questions. That there will be so many questions will be easy and many are difficult. You will get the answer only after seeing the solution. Mark those important questions which you don't get the answer and difficult ones. Right? That is marking. Remarking is very simple. After solving all these 150 questions, you will discover some new points. You will discover, like you will discover some shortcuts. Write all those points in the empty space of that page. I already told to leave some empty space in the strategy one, right? So mark those all the important points and all the important shortcuts that you arrived based on solving. Just this is important strategy. So strategy number three, marking and remarking. For example, I marked uh, the important questions and difficult uh, one, which is difficult for me based on the solutions. I marked all those questions. And after solving all these things, I got some points which I mentioned here. So conditions for current to be maximum in series and parallel connection and uh, how the bulbs is working. So lower watt bulb will get more current and glow uh, brighter in series connection. Whereas in parallel it is opposite. And I got some uh, uh, diagrammatical questions. These are all the important things which I acquired from solving these problems. So I wrote all those things. So in a single paper, I finished the entire chapter. So strategy number four, revisiting. It's very simple. Of course, when you've done all these things for a chapter, you will be finishing in a paper. 
in one paper you'll getting the formulas in the another paper the things you discovered based on solving that's the thing so in 20 papers all the physics things will be completed so you have to revisit daily so daily you have to finish 10 pages and at least work out two chapters that's more than enough and the two chapters lame first give priority for the marked ones which you feel difficult then go for easy ones so this is an important strategy called as revisiting so in two days you'll be revising all the 20 chapters of physics and in each day you'll be working at least two units of physics from difficult ones to the easier ones so this is strategy four for example i done the entire physics in just 20 pages all i have to do is i have to revisit as many as possible so 10 pages in a day and 10 pages in another day with two units of solving per day that's it that's revisiting advantages so strategy number one one paper technique you are finishing the entire unit in a single paper that will boost your confidence and gives you immense pleasure Sing single paper entire unit second strategy problem solving of course problem solving is entire physics so once you solve all the conceptual problems you have an insight that you know somewhat in everything in every concept you know something third strategy marking and remarking so once you've done this strategy you are the discoverer of your own shortcuts of your own in points that is that you got after solving all the entire questions and finally strategy number four which is revisiting always everybody tend to forget so if you revisit with a 10 paper uh, in a single day with two units solving so you are again again seeing the same problems which means you are strengthening the neurons thereby the tendency on a tendency that will be reduced so that's the importance of strategy four finally a bonus is waiting what if someone has curated all the schedule in such a way that you can finish the entire physics in just two weeks yes i have done all the schedule all you have to do is join in my telegram group below to get the schedule and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel because uh, more important uh, chapters and uh, do or die chapters of physics will be the upcoming videos so don't forget to subscribe thank you